Fall is wildflower season in the low country, and we typically think of wildflowers as being found in open sunny fields, but today I want to look at some species that can tolerate more shade. Often found growing together are two asters in the genus Verbicina. The yellow one is yellow crown beard, and the white one is often called frostweed or wingstem. Now these two species are very similar in appearance other than the flower color. Uh, excellent pollinator attractors. They can both handle a fair amount of shade. The white one gets that name frostweed. Um, there's been very few instances here in the low country where we would have reason to see why it gets that. But if there's a hard freeze before the plants died back for the year, it will actually rupture the cells and these white curtains of frost um, come out of the plant. You can see in the photo there. So when these plants are used in a landscaping setting, if you would like to keep them on the smaller side when they bloom so they don't get too tall and topple over, you can cut them back in June or July down to about a foot tall. And then when we get to fall, they'll be about four to five feet. Often found growing with the crown beard and wing stem is this blue aster called blue mist flower. The scientific name of this one is Eupatorium coelestinum. And you can see that this is actually growing along with spotted bee balm, which I've already done a video on. But again, we've got another plant in the aster family here. Uh, super attractive to pollinators. This one is much smaller, will grow along edges. Uh, but these are great fall flowering plants that can tolerate, you know, a moderate amount of shade, whereas many of your other blooming ones uh, will have to be in full sun.